What's going on guys? So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how we can set up a workflow for developing Node.js and Express apps within a Docker container. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to set up a quick and simple Express app that we can use for demonstration purposes. And the reason why I didn't actually prepare the, the Express app ahead of time is first of all, this is going to be the quickest and simplest of apps. We'll be able to knock it out within like a minute. Um, but I want you guys to focus on these steps that we need to actually create this app because they're kind of important because we're going to recreate those steps within the Docker container as well. So I've got my project directory. I called it node Docker already here and I've got it open up in VS code. So, uh, you know, with any other express app, the first thing that we have to do is get our package.json file. So I'm going to do an NPM in it. And that's going to create our package.json. Uh, and since we are creating an express app, we're going to have to install express. I'm going to do an NPM install express. So now we've got our dependency. Uh, the next thing that I want to do is also focus on the fact that we did uh, create our node modules folder. So that happened when we installed Express. And the final thing that we need to do is actually create the, our application. So I'm going to create an index.js file. And I'm going to import our Express. So we'll do const Express require Express. And then we can do const app equals Express. Right, then I'm going to specify the port that I want my express server to live on. So I'm going to do const port. So this variable is going to represent the port that it's going to be listening on. And I'm going to set it equal to process.env.port pipe 3000. Right, so if you don't know what this line is, it's basically saying that if the environment variable called port has been set, uh, we're going to set this variable to that value. Uh, however, if it's not set, we're going to default to a value of 3000. Usually common configuration. Uh, and then we can do an app.listen, and we'll listen on that port. And when our server comes up, we can say console.log, listening on port, and then we'll pass in that variable. All right, so now the last thing that I want to do is set up a quick route for testing purposes. So I'm going to do app.get. And we'll just say the root root path, and then we'll do rec res. And so if anyone sends a get request to this path, uh, we're just going to send back a simple response, which is going to be, uh, we'll just send an H2 that says, hi there. And I forgot the comma right here. All right. And so that's our entire Express app. Uh, I'm going to start this app real quick. So we're going to do a node and then index.js. And it looks like I forgot to save, probably. All right. So it looks like I already had a, another um, Express app listening on uh, port 3000. So I, I deleted that. So now. We do a node index.js, it should start. It's going to be listening on port 3000. Uh, we can go to our uh, web browser real quick and we can just go to localhost colon 3000. And when we do that, we should see it say hi there. I'll zoom in for you guys so that you can see that. Uh, and so that confirms our Express app works. So we've got our dummy Express app. So now we can go ahead and get started with actually integrating our Express app into a Docker container and setting up a workflow so that we can. Um, move to developing our application exclusively within the Docker container instead of developing it on our local machine like we just did.